things that happened to him as a child. His characters, Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn, are some of the most popular in all of American literature. The story begins in the mid-1800s in a small town in Missouri, much like the town that Mark Twain grew up in. Our main character is a 12-year-old boy, Tom Sawyer. He lives with his stepbrother, Sid, and his Aunt Polly. Most of the time, Tom is a good boy, but at other times, he's full of mischief, especially with his friend Huckleberry Finn. Their days are filled with usual boyhood adventures and pranks, but one night, something unusual happens, which leads to the most dangerous and exciting adventure of their lives. It begins outside Aunt Polly's house. What a boring job. It'll take all day to paint this fence. Hello, Tom. How's your day? Say, it's getting better all the time. Love this painting. Want to try it? Can't, Tom. Miss Polly told me to get the water not to any paint, even if you ask me to. Rats. I'll give you a marble. This here shiny marble. And I'll show you my sore toe, too. Tom, you get back to painting and leave Jim to do his chores. Tingling, stop the stabber, stand by. Why, hey there, Tom Sawyer. What you doing? Just having fun. This is the most fun I've had in days. More fun than swimming or climbing or anything. So keep on moving. It ain't every day a kid gets to paint a whole fence. <laughs> Gee, it sounds well. Let me try. I'm tired of being a riverboat. Come on, Tom. I want to have fun, too. Nope. I reckon there ain't one boy in a thousand that can do it right. Got to do it myself. Come on, Tom. Be a pal. I'll give you this your apple. Oh, all right. Just for a while, though. Body can't give up too much fun for another, so you got to let me have that when I ask. Well, I never. You're all done. And so quick. Just shows you, Tom, what you can get done when you put your mind to it. This deserves an award. Here's a nice apple. Now run along and play. What a good boy. Just goes to show you, work is whatever a person has to do, and play is whatever a person wants to do. The next day, Tom is on his way to school when he comes across his friend, Huckleberry Finn. Huck is the outcast of the town, the son of a drunkard who never goes to school. Clearly, he's the envy of every boy, including Tom. Hello, Huckleberry. Well, yourself. See how you like it. What's that in your hand? Dead cat. <laughs> Good for your reports. You take it to the graveyard about midnight. Move over a new grave shouting, Devil follow dead man. Warts follow cat. Cat follow wart. I'm good with you. Got a wart. Now get rid of it. Say, let's try it tonight. They're bearing an old Hoss Williams. Please try it out. Okay. I'll meow. Under your window so you know it's time to go. Want to go swimming till then? Okay. Gotta go to school, but I'll wait for your meow. See you around midnight. Tom Sawyer, why are you late again? Um, schoolmaster, I confess that I'm late because I was talking to Huckleberry Finn. <gasps> that evil boy, will you ever learn? Sit with the girls. <laughs> now this is exactly what Tom is hoping for, because you see, Becky Thatcher just happens to have the only vacant seat right next to her. Say, Becky, let's get engaged to be married. Sounds nice, but what does it mean? It's ever so fine. It means we can talk and walk together and even hold hands like this. Tom, you do know so much. No wonder the schoolmaster picks on you every day. He's jealous of you, Tom. Well, I don't know about that. But I do know how good being engaged is. 
Why, when I was engaged to Amy Lawrence, we talked and walked together all the time. You mean I ain't the first girl you've been engaged to? You don't really love me, Tom. Go away and never speak to me again. Tom waits until midnight, just like he promised. Soon, he hears something. Meow! Meow! <laughs> Come on, Tom. We've got to get to the grave before midnight. This bell won't work. You think Hoss Williams can hear us? Of course he can. Why well, think the wolves get gone otherwise? Wait, what's that noise? It's a gang coming for sure. Look, three of them, ghosts. They ain't ghosts, they're humans. One's much hotter, and that's Injun Joe next to it. Look what they're doing. Why are they digging up that grave? It's Hoss Williams' grave. Maybe it's to study his body and science. Wait, huh, look what they're doing. Mom, 
have to be on Sunday. <laughs> Thatcher, tell me the truth. on the night in question. You have been accused of murder in Doc Robinson. Must have been self-defense, Judge, though I don't really remember, except we done up the money. He deserves to hate. Doc was a good man. And you just evidence is as solid as rock. <laughs> we can't tolerate murder in our good town. Hey, you criminal. <laughs> what can you do, Muck? Muck is a goner if we don't say something. And Joe will kill it, sure as shoot. We gotta keep quiet like we still want I've heard all the evidence. I'm going to take this under consideration and announce my decision when I'm good and ready. Tom's conscience is getting the best of him. He decides to break his pact with Huck Finn and do the right thing, even if the consequences are harsh. Court is called to order. New information has come to me since yesterday. I have one final person to hear from before I rule on this case. I call Thomas Sawyer to the stand. <laughs> Tell the court what you told me last night, Tom. I was in the graveyard around midnight on the night the Doc was murdered. I seen what really happened. I was hid behind the elm trees on the edge of his grave. 
I seen the man dig up the money. Then there was a fighting, and then Injun Joe stabbed off Robinson. It was Joe that done it. Traitor! You done me in! I'll get you for this, Tom Sawyer! Order! Not likely, Joe. You will hang for the murder of Doc Robinson. This case is over. Take the correct prisoner away. After him! <laughs> Okay, but I have something to tell him first. Let's go. <laughs> 